Hi guys, welcome back to another video. The last video today. Until we end. Like, the, the theory. I'm gonna retire from YouTube. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna retire. I'm not ever gonna retire from YouTube. Well, I don't actually earn any money from YouTube, so... Yeah. So I'm pretty, uh... I'm a pretty lamb. I'm pretty, uh... Yeah... Um... Yeah. Not such a cool YouTuber. Um... Today... We're gonna do another race. As you guys know, my successful gold was to buy as much cars as possible and earn as much m earn as much money for cars as possible in GT Sport. That's my main goal as you guys know. We're gonna take this one round the Nurbed round not the Nurbed the Nurbed did against the law to play it is against the law the law to to uh, drive a car around the neighborhood. No, I'm only joking. I got a nice cup of tea. How are you, guy? How are you? How are you guys been so far today? Uh, I mean, the day's almost ended, so. Yeah. Sorry, guy. Turn it up just in time so you can have the engine. The day is almost over, so yeah. So yeah, so let's see. Monday, the most dreadful day of the week, coming up. Yeah, I've actually managed to find a way to to uh, get some more this on my PS4. What the hell? Sorry, mate. I couldn't stop that. My, you know, can't stop these American cars all the time. Oh shit! It's lying an American car around the corner. How? Oh, that's the same car as mine. Why are we against Lamborghini and stuff? I mean, an American car. It doesn't really make sense. I really took it as how far, how, uh, you know, powerful this car is.
Oh my god, we're sliding, eh? We're sliding, or oh, is that sliding or is that drifting? I'm gonna let you guys decide in the comments. Just that slide on Tristan, I think it's sliding. <gasps> Shit, oh, did I do No, 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 oh my god. <laughs> I was over chicken and big yatty bay on. I saw a thing on, um, what was it, on, um, or someone doing, someone doing, uh, for the Motorsport 7 of the, uh, new Bugatti Brown Chiron versus the, uh, Kulikvig 1 to 1 and the Kulikvig 1 to 1 monster that are everything. They did three challenges each, I think. I think they did a, um, I can't remember what the three challenges were. Oh my shit. I think they did a Nord Sicky time, and I could have like, smashed that. And then the next one was a, a, round, a lap around, like a tight circuit, and I could have like, Smashed it at that, smashed the Bugatti bow and sure and like, the Bugatti bow and sure and like that. And then it was a drag race, and then I think the Bugatti, the Bugatti bow and sure and lost that as well. So I would have they completely won that. I was pretty much drifting an American car around there. Break, 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 break. <sighs> These American cars are good at I'll get a straight line speed, but then you get to the corner, stay crap. So, how is that be gay, Ray? Oh, look at that. Straight line speed is outmatched, I think. But then, as soon as you get to the corner, it's rubbish. Ten laps of this. Whoa, shit! Damn it, the guy ran on the The guy ran on you going away. I believe that's the super sort version. I don't think the Shurons in in this in this game at me. It's in. Uh, I think it's in the new one. The, I think it's in the new for the motorsports. The for the motorsports seven. I don't know why, what it is, but for the motorsport had like loads more cars. For the motorsport and for the horizon has always got loads more cars than loads of more load loads of more cars than the GT Sport series. I don't know why it is. I don't know if that the the, the, the the people if the people there in America and they can and then they better travelling around all the countries getting all the cars or something. Why haven't GT Sports got most of the cars? And car companies. 
I mean, I'm going to talk about like what kind of lift cars I would like to come to GT Sport. Um, I would like um, Colleague Vic, obviously, to come to GT Sport, like all of them, like a Jera, Colleague Vic, a Jera, a Jera R, and, and also the one to one would be amazing in uh, GT Sport. I like pretty much Formula One cars in GT Sport. Yeah, where are all the GT, where are all the Formula One cars? They were in, um, they were in old Ransomware games, but now they're not, they're not in this one anymore. GT, um, some people say GT, um, a lot of people are still arguing. A lot of people are still arguing. Um, what's the better game? Like, you know, I've, I've seen tons of people get, you know, have GT sports, and the main, I think the main question they're asking, why don't you prepare? You know, do a versus video of GT Sport again for the Motorsport 7. I mean, you can't do that. They're completely different games. Well, they're not. They're both racing games, but, you know. But they're really quite different, actually, compared to each other. I mean, GT Sport is Japanese. Um, Forza Motorsports is American. Um, for the most parts on my Xbox, and uh, DC Sports is on PS3, and PS, well, PS4, not on PS3, PS4, so, and then um, on top of that, GT Sport tried to do more a realistic, a realistic, you know. GT Sport tries to add to uh, the more realistic way of racing. No. For the most, I played for the motorsport seven. For the motorsport six. My stepdad. <laughs> when I get my stepdad has Oh shit. Damn it. I hate these notifications coming up on my phone when I'm trying to do a video. They're just distracting me now. I'm almost. How did uh, Ferrari love La Ferrari get into second? Obviously. Obviously, the LaFerrari overtook the Bugatti Veyron, which I thought the Bugatti Veyron might struggle. I heard it behind me. Behind me. And the LaFerrari overtook it. But yeah, I would like to see Colleague there. I would like to see um, Radical in this game. And yeah, this general, like, Quite a lot of cars in the game. I like Ferrari and Toyota and Nissan and all things like that. I've been all a part of this game for years. Of the Grand and that series for years. But the thing is, um, in this game, um, Nissan don't have all those old race cars that they used to have in previous games. It's more modern race cars they have now. I have no idea why that. Yeah, so you can't, you can't, 
you can't compare like really you can't really compare like GG Sport compare you can't really compare GG Sport to um, for the most for seven because for the most sport has really been like an RKD racer which is kind of kind of realistic but actually more more arcadey than you think actually. And DC Sport is all has always been on the pretty much realistic side from the beginning. I mean they got like GT Academy they got something called GT Academy for crying out loud which is basically like real life races in the game. And if you're fast enough, you can you, you'll have to train. On, you get a free lap on the on it. I believe you get a free lap on the, the game, and then you have to you know do a race on the track and stuff. And if you're fast enough, I think you get like I think you get to join the other you, you kind of meet people on. And uh, the Nerbid in 24 hour or something. Damn it, why is this American car so crap sometimes? It does not break sometimes. There you go, the Laferrari again. Come on. Maybe it's just me, or... This American car does take a long time to stop. But they are a lot of fun with American cars. Well, they're in every single race in that game I get into. Uh, I find these American cars so fun. And I, oh shit, again, really, and I have played quite a lot of racing games actually over the past, I played, uh, I always used to play Gresham though back in the past, um, and then I used to play, um, and then I have played for the most of it, even though I don't own Xbox One, but my stepdad's bought me it. One, some fun. And I believe I played. Uh, look, look, look at that! Did you see that, guys? That. Ray one smashed into the uh, smashed into the wall while it was breaking. I told you that 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 they were on a really good car breaking. Neither neither is this car, man. It's quite a handful to break. You have to really press the brake for this car, because if you but you have to brake it like a minute early, because. Otherwise it won't. Stop. Yeah, otherwise it won't stop. We break. Look, it's not stopping, it's going. Break out. Okay, fine, it's stopped. <laughs> okay, I believe that Veyron's no longer behind that.
I believe in the episode of Grand Tour they did the very very first episode when they uh, introduced the uh, electric, the uh, electric like the LaFerrari and the and the Porsche what is it, the Porsche 918 or something and the McLaren P1 or something I don't know what it's called but I believe after they did that, they set the, you know, or the Porsche against the Ray One, and I think I smashed the Ray One on the drag line. I think the Ray One got pretty close throughout the end. I'm almost going to overtake it, but then but it wasn't enough, and then in the end. Shit! Pretty much, um, you know, destroyed it. And, uh, enough. Yeah, the Porsche pretty much owned it. And, uh, and then afterwards, I think someone came up with, like, a mission or something. A mission, like, you know, in Dubai, they came up with a mission or something. And then they smashed, completely smashed the Porsche. But then again, that, that to buy a police car thingy, you can buy it, you can't buy it, and it was only made by, it was only made by people in Dubai, and I think it had 6,700 horsepower or something. Twice as much as, uh, Okay, we've done another race, we earned 53,317 miles. We didn't win a car. But anyway. So yeah, um, if you want to, you can come in here and spend your minus points on each thing. So I like a new car, but I don't think they've had a new car yet. So you can buy gold wheels. Um, you can buy a, that like a 500 minus point. 500, 100, 100. So yeah, and, and, and I think every now and then they release cars on here that you can buy. I thought I bought all those from the mileage point. I thought I bought all these. I bought that one. Okay, uh, let's see. So you can either buy cars with like real money in the game you get from the game, or you can try and win them because. Office leader, the sensible thing to do would be to, uh, you know, 
um, but the Wyndham because I think that would be a pretty sensible thing to do, but I don't know about you guys. So, yeah, we can do, uh, so if you're going to custom race, you guys can, you know, I'm pretty sure some of you guys have done more than 10 laps, you know. But the thing is, it makes, like, a, such a long video if you do more than 10 laps and stuff. Uh, let's just take a car for example. So, yeah. So, you can earn maximum amount of money, 7,000, 7,028. Two hundred laps. Let's see, with one hundred laps. So one hundred laps, you still earn a three hundred and sixty-four thousand. Let's see, ninety-nine laps. Ninety nine. Yeah, ninety nine you I still earn three hundred and sixty thousand. What about let's go twenty laps. Twenty laps you earn ninety thousand. Okay, 30 is like into the 100,000. Yeah, 30, 30 laps into the 100,000. The 100,000 area. So, yeah, so... Try and aim for... So yeah, anything above 20, 24, 24 laps, anything above 24 is pretty much into the 100,000, which is quite good, but, you know, um, um, I would need a really good track to, uh, you know, and I don't think there's any track favorite track I would like to do 30 laps on possibly not the Nurburgring ring because that's really hard that track probably only do about 21 lap around the Nurburgring. ring I should aim at it they should make it like get you can get more money by doing a lap around the Nurburgring. ring so one lap is only 25,000 and if you, wait hang on, so if you do it on super easy it's 23,000, you do it on super easy it's 23,000, you do it on, oh yeah also you can come down here and you could say Set it up to a thousand brake horsepower card. So that will bring that will bring all the way up to sixty two thousand. But you have to but I think and also I think if you've got a less powerful car it would be more money. So let's go to let's say Let's take out a thousand horsepower car and take out the left Ferrari because I know that's a thousand horsepower car. So let's say one lap around the Nurburgring, put on hard, that bring us up to 
29,000. At the moment it's only 700. So how much would it be in 1,000? Yeah, you see it's lower. 47,900. So if you choose a lower car, you know, then it would be more of a charge. Then you get more money. <laughs> so yeah, that, you know, like choosing a lower end car, or you can just do, as I said, you could do more than 23 laps, more than 23 laps, and you'll be earning up to more than like a hundred, up, up to a hundred thousand left. So yeah, do more than um. Uh, More than like, so more than, um, yeah, more than 23 laps. More than 23 laps, that would be the best way to get money, really, because you're up to 100,000. I mean, it may quite a long race, but if you give you a lot of money, so yeah. But actually, my advice is you do it round. My advice, if you do, <laughs> um, do one hard. You do it anywhere up to more than. <coughs> 23 laps, so let's say 40 laps. So that would give you 798,000, which is like an insane amount. My advice would be to do it on. I don't actually want to go on a race right now. So yeah, anyway, but let me show you some guys. Look, I've downloaded all these three games, and what's cool actually is that you can put them into a folder, so. So now I figured it out. I got a lot more space on my PS4 and my PS3. So, well, my PS4, so I can play a lot more, get a lot more games probably, and play some more. And then I can put those into folder, and then um, you know, off for the CC. So, before I start this race, I don't actually want to start this race. No. So you can take, well, you can take a little car like that around the nerd ring because it would be quite easy to control. You know, those fast cars are not that easy to control. But my advice for you guys would be... Um, that's just going to custom races. So yeah, do 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 the uh, Tokyo Expressway, and either do it in a like a Mazda or something like something really nimble and fast, or like um like this car here, like um Alfa Romeo, don't know whatever it is. Yeah, like a really light, lim light, nimble car, or buy a, or buy a, um, or buy a, um, um, or do it in a really like fast, uh, do it in like um, KTM Crossbow, that's the other car you can do it in. Or any light nimble cars. You can do it in fast cars as well, but it's really fast and uh, it's really quick in a light nimble car. So do that, uh, whatever colour you want this car. 
Uh, do it on, do it on 40, do it on, do it on 40 laps. Set it to the hardest difficulty. Actually, you still get 88,000 if you set it on medium. But set it to hardest difficulty, and that way you get like... Oh wait, I've got the Flaferari. Wait, hang on. Oh, that's good enough. Oh yeah, set it to... 40 lap. Hardest oh, difficulty. Wait, now it says it's on a hundred. Now it says it's only a hundred and two thousand. Maybe because it's on Tokyo Expressway. So I set it to fifty laps or forty laps, like a hundred hundred something thousand, not that bad actually. Yeah, set it on the hardest difficulty and set it on to let's go to five hundred. You want if you do it on a thousand you can get three hundred and forty nine thousand which would be quite good actually but just depends like set it on Okay, you can set it on, um, try up to, try up to 700, so then you really get the, no, just do it really, really nice nimble car, and then do like 40 laps around the, you know, around the, uh, Actually, let's see if they if I pick a a better car. So let's go to Tokyo Expressway. Yep, that. So let's see if I pick this car. So I'm going to do forty lap, forty lap. Uh, super hard. So yeah, I get a hundred and two. I only get a hundred and two thousand. Why is it? Why do I only get a hundred and two thousand on Tokyo Expressway? But anyway, it's really fast on Tokyo Expressway, so that's why I would recommend it. But obviously, I think you get more. I think you get a lot more money if you do it on a if you do it on a hard track like, say, the Nurburgring or something. Okay, let's just see here. Yeah, you get way more money for that. But anyway, so yeah, just do it on Tokyo's brushway. Yeah, just do Tokyo's brushway, that's my advice. And then get a fast car, like this one for example. Set 40 laps. Set it on 40 laps. Set it on super hard and try and go to like at the moment we're in a group four class. So I'm trying to set it on a f I'm only going to group three group three class. Yeah, try and do this do it in a group one class because you get a lot more money apparently. Hundred and twenty three thousand, so that's pretty good. But yeah, that would be my advice to you guys, so you know, to earn money and stuff. But anyway, that's going to be the video for today, so I'll have a next video, I'll have another video up whenever, and 
So, thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe, and bye guys, peace. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, peace, stay safe.